So this is a quick video to talk about how you can repressurize your uh, reverse osmosis tank. Um, the typical symptoms of a low pressure reverse osmosis tank is when no water comes out of the tap or the tank won't fill up. Um, so all you need to get going is a simple bicycle pump, standard bicycle pump, and one of these uh, typical little uh, tire pressure gauges you can get from any shop. Um, or you might have a pump uh, tire pressure gauge already on your pump. So um, the first thing to do is to shut off all the water supply to the actual reverse osmosis unit. That's simply done, just turn it off, the water supply coming into it. The next thing is you want to turn on the tap and uh, on the countertop your sink tap or faucet as they call them and just let all the water drain out. Now all that water will be coming from this tank. Once it is drained and the water has stopped, which will take maybe up to 15, 20 minutes, um, depending on your local pressure, then you can uh, give the tank a shake. Now, if it still feels heavy, you can feel water sloshing around inside, then use the pump to just keep, uh, to pump the, um, uh, the uh, water through. And basically, this is what we're talking about here. This is the, what's called the Schrader valve and you just untie this and you would just attach the uh, pump to it like that, yeah. And that would force out any of the remaining water. Then what you do is you turn off the uh, tank um, using this valve at the top. So this will have a tube coming into it and you just turn it uh, like that to, um, that shuts it off when it's at 90 degrees. And now what you're gonna do is just pressure test the pressure check, the actual pressure inside the empty tank and you just push that on get a reading and what we're looking for is between 5 to 7 psi so for example that one is uh, eight and a half so in that instance it's actually too um, it's too uh, inflated and you would use this little um, push that pin in and it will release the air just do that in little bursts then you remeasure it but typically there won't be any pressure in there if you're doing this exercise. And in that case, you just put the pump on, uh, usually just pump it up two, three, four times, give it two, three, four squirts, recheck, and just wait until you get between five to seven PSI. Um, the thing about the water being left in it after you've emptied it, only worry about it if it feels quite heavy. Just a little bit of water is fine. You don't really need to get it all out. Uh, then uh, reconnect everything up and uh, it should work fine after that. Uh, if it doesn't, contact us again and we'll um, help you out. Okay, thanks so much.